What I have here is a hard drive containing 1,786 songs. This is the raw material of evolution, unfiltered by any company or broadcaster or any consideration of taste other than the musician's own. And what we want to know is, is any of it any good? Normally, each track is vetted by a human being, but I suspect that machines can do their job just as well. What we do is we teach the computer, using a machine learning algorithm, what the charts are now. And then we apply that model to the introducing data, and we ask which of the introducing songs are most chart-like? Which does the computer think are most likely to go into the charts? As before, our computers measure each song. This is the same process we went through for all the chart music earlier on. It's just sort of MP3 files go in one end and spreadsheets come out the other. The result, a simple list with the most chart-like songs at the top. Out of all those songs, our algorithm picked one. And it's a song called Margarita by a group called the Modern Strangers. The Modern Strangers were actually soon to play a gig in London. So two weeks later, I found myself heading to a dingy club to hear them. Margarita was the finale. Catchy, it certainly had people dancing. It's the first time I've really listened to the song. The computer just gave us a name. No, none of us had actually heard the thing. And I've got to say, it's amazingly convincing. Margarita is almost an old-school disco track. It comes straight in with a big beat and melodic hook. The lyrics may be lacking, but it's very, very danceable. The computer is dumb. It doesn't have a sophisticated model of beauty or danceability, but here's the thing. The song is great, and people think it's great. It seems to have bottled some musical magic. And our computer algorithm has found that same magic. It's, it shows that it can be bottled by math, and that's rather amazing.